I'm going to show you how to set up an app on a subdomain in Cloudways, and if you find that helpful, go ahead and smash that like button. Okay, now first thing we need to consider is that subdomains are created through the DNS of our domain. So I've gone ahead and logged into the DNS for my domain. Uh, this is typically going to be the provider that you use to buy the domain name, in my case, Namecheap. So I'm in the DNS records. I'm just going to leave that open on my screen right now. Then I'm going to head into Cloudways and go to my server. Now when you sign up to Cloudways, uh, it basically funnels you into creating a server as you sign up. So it shouldn't be hard to navigate here. And when you sign up to Cloudways, you should already have a server live and going. So we are in that server right now. And I'm going to come down here and click on this or mouse over this little button down here in the bottom right and click on add app and here's where you select which type of app you want to use uh, wordpress obviously probably going to be the most common php custom php you could do that you could do magento gosh i can't side note i can't even believe magento is still around i was using this 12 years ago to build e-commerce sites i'm curious how much it's changed but i don't have the time uh time to log in and check that out we're just going to go with a WordPress, um, I'm going to go with no Cloudways optimization on it. And we're just going to call it subdomain WordPress. Use WP for short, right? And add application and let it run and install. It'll probably take it a minute or two. Okay, it looks like it's completed the install. So we're going to go onto my server here, dev site crap server. It's just a server I have uh, for all of the stuff that's just random dev crap stuff. Yeah. Go on it here, and then we're gonna click on this little toggle up here, which is gonna show us all of our applications installed on the server. And then scroll down until we can find it and select the right one. Subdomain WP, that's the one we just installed. So there's the application URL, we could go to it. Uh, it's probably, pa oh, nope, I was expecting it to be password protected, but it's not, but that doesn't really matter for the sake of this video. What we wanna do now is go to domain management. And here's where we can create the domain or the subdomain that we're going to use. So I'm just going to call it, once I can click into here, might need to, oh, there it is. Just took the page a minute to load. I'm just going to call it um, subdomain.momentum and business.com right there. And then I'm going to save it. So in a moment, it'll, uh, it'll update that and save that record. Okay, that's done. The next thing we need to do is we need to come over here to access details and grab the public IP address. You can just click it to copy and then we need to go back to our DNS, which I left open in a, in a tab. And then we're gonna go add record. Okay. So now with that, we've, we're gonna add a new record here. And what we're gonna do here for the host is put in our subdomain. In my case, it was just subdomain. And then we're gonna put in the IP address. And it just pasted like that. Now, there's one more thing we're gonna do here. Depending on your DNS, this may not redirect to the www dot. So to correct that and avoid any issues, and mind you, um, I've seen this behave differently with different DNSs. We'll just go on add record, a record, and then www dot and then subdomain, right there. So we got those two entered, we've pasted the IP address in, it's an A record, we got that uh, subdomain thing correct. So we're just gonna go ahead and save all changes. And boom, with that, now we just gotta wait for the DNS to propagate. And now, a few minutes later, if we put in subdomain.momentumandbusiness.com into the URL button and hit go, you will see that it loads our app on Cloudways. So hey, if you guys found this video helpful, help me in that YouTube algorithm and hit that like button.